بيستضيف الفنان العالمي بيلي زين آه لما بيستضيفوا مهرجان القاهرة آه السينما الدولي بيستضيفوا لأنه شارك في عشرات وعشرات من الأفلام والمسلسلات التلفزيونية الأمريكية بيلي زين دوره الأشهر الأيقوني اللي المصريين يعرفوه به هو آه ذلك الدور في الفيلم الساحر تايتانيك كال الشخصية الشريرة على قد ما كل الناس في العالم حبت جاك وروز على قد ما كرهت خطيب روز بالتأكيد هي حبت بيلي زين لأداءه المتقن والمتقن للحبيب الغيور اللي كان أحد أسباب غرق التايتانيك في الفيلم على الأقل النجم العالمي بيلي زين Movies, cinema, glamorous. This is a, a, an honor beyond compare. The rich history of Egyptian cinema and its contribution to world cinema has been extraordinary. And to be honored for, um, I don't like to say a lifetime of work because it implies you're, <laughs> you're, you're very old. But, but, but a, a half life. It's a bit good and bad at the <laughs> <Yes>. same time. <laughs> Lifetime Achievement Awards are very strange this way because you realize, oh, thank you so much. And then you go, ah, yes, I'm, I guess it, <coughs> we contribute our quite a, oh, you need a soft pillow for a Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> أنا عارفة إن الترجمة مكتوبة بس هو عمال يتريق على فكرة إنجاز العمر وكده وحاسس إنه زعلان يعني. يس يس. I'd like to think I have a few more movies in me, but I am uh, I am deeply deeply honored uh, by this recognition. So this you. is your first visit to Egypt? It is. Ooh. If only to arrive in every country this way, I, it spoils me. Uh, it is my oh. first visit, indeed. Oh. I had pretended to come to Egypt as Mark Antony in a miniseries oh, of yes. Cleopatra, yes. Um, when where we oh. recreated Alexandria. But we shot that film um, in uh, in Ouazazat in Morocco. Unfortunately, it wasn't shot here. Oh. But I look forward to the opportunity to make a know, film. You know, most of the movies talking about Egypt are, are are shot not in Egypt. Well, we should fix that. Uh, we should. We should. This is our responsibility, <laughs> actually. Uh, uh, tell me, what was your first reaction when you got this the the invitation? Um, I was I was uh, excited, um, uh, humbled, and and then I realized the the timing of this was. Um, I, I was just in in Athens. My family is Greek, um, and I was there for. Uh, a, an honor as a an honorary uh, painter, an honorary artist. Yes. In other in another life, I, <laughs> other than movies, <laughs> uh, I have two side um, ventures. Really, one is I'm a, a visual artist. I'm yes, a painter. Yes. Yes. And with a, with a good reputation. Thank you. you. Strangely, I yeah, guess so. No. <laughs> no, it's uh, true. It's uh, uh. I. I I just paint for myself, and people seem to like it, so I'm I'm flattered. I started in um, during Titanic, actually, in Mexico, in 1997, in, during this period, mm -hmm. and um, and I've shown in um, Art Basel in Miami, in Budapest, in uh, London, in Los Angeles, Beautiful. and um, and you were showing in and Athens? I was showing in Thessaloniki mm -hmm. at the Thess Thessaloniki Art Fair and. Uh -huh. They said, you, we'd like to make you the honorary artist. As soon as I read this, strangely, I received an email that said, we'd like to be the honorary guest in Egypt. I thought, it's, it's my uh, season of honorarium. And uh, I mm -hmm. thought I, this uh, was ironic and, and charming.
Yeah. You know that Egypt and Greece has very strong uh, I do. connections. I do. You know, Alexandria one day was full of Greeks. Yeah. Alexander. <laughs> to be exact, <laughs> no. among Ale others. Actually, Alexander the Great was not a Greek. I know. Uh, well, yes, well, Macedonian. It's, uh, uh, yes. I mean, we, the Greeks Greek. like to say, yeah, he was pretty Greek. But still, still, uh, Alexandria and, uh, and Athens, they had so many things in common. Um, so, your parents are Greeks. Yes. Uh, you're, uh, you were born in Chicago, yes? Third generation. My Third family is from Sparta. Uh, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Billy Zane. The cradle of civilization, who along with your Greek neighbors was the birthplace of innovation. مهد الحضارة اللي كانت في مصر ومع جيرانها في اليونان هم بداية الخلق أو الإبداع. Yes. Yes. Something that is very dear to me, as you will soon read and watch in the numerous interviews I have done with a vast variety of diverse members of the national and international press during my brief stay. Egypt's contribution to the pantheon of cinema is unparalleled for the region and beyond. <laughs> I, I'm really enjoying this. تأثير مصر وإنسهامها في صناعة السينما مؤثر جدا وواضح ويصعب مقارنته سواء على المستوى الإقليمي أو حتى المستوى الدولي. Your landscapes have changed cinema forever with the advent of widescreen cinemascope lenses employed as the only means to capture the grandeur and beauty. جمال الطبيعة في مصر خلى استخدام اللقطات الكبيرة والجراند سكوب هو الحاجة الوحيدة يعني اللي ممكن استخدامها لإبراز هذا القدر من الجمال. I hope to one day film in front of these landscapes with your talented filmmakers and actors. أتمنى أن في يوم من الأيام أتمكن من التصوير قدام هذه المناظر العظيمة مع النجوم الموهوبين وصناع الأفلام الموهوبين في مصر. I would like to thank Mohamed Hebsi, Ahmed Sawi, and the Cairo International Film Festival for this great honor. Truly, it stands as one of the most memorable experiences of my life. You uh, visit to Egypt. Uh, how long is it? What are your plans? Um, well, the film festival has me quite busy um, uh, promoting the festival itself and meeting uh, other filmmakers. And I think there's a, a screening as well. Mm -hmm. um, there, we've managed to squeeze in um, a trip to the pyramids, I believe, and uh, which I'm looking forward to, and some sightseeing. Oh. I you wish, should. I hope you to should. return for the opening of uh, this exquisite museum uh, this, that is opening very shortly. 2020. 2020. It will I'm be definitely, gorgeous. I'm coming back. I, the I the great to. museum. How it's, thrilling. Uh, it will be gorgeous. It will be uh, something uh, n unlike any museum in the world. Mm. Yeah. You will do business as well? We'll take some meetings. Um, the, the business is called Global Ventures Summit. And what we do is we bring Silicon Valley investment funds to emerging markets around the world to help startup companies and technology sectors. Mm -hmm. So we've held summits in Jakarta, in Bali, in uh, Los Angeles, um, in Guadalajara, in Mexico City, and uh, we're going to be holding one in Greece, and we're certainly interested in holding one here, mm -hmm. uh, and we have some meetings to that effect. Um, Many of the entrepreneurs are around the average age of some of your audience members who are quite young and I'm, yes. I'm sure are looking to yes, this is, this is a, you know, to, uh, uh, create solutions that will benefit us all. That's really uh, the thing, is, is creating... So what do you like more? Mm. Acting, painting or business? That is a tricky question. Um, I, they, they, 
Let or, me rephrase the question. Surely. What gets more money? <laughs> <laughs> Acting, it depends uh, when, painting, it depends when or you business? Ask. It depends when <laughs> they, you, they switch off. Um, there are many currencies in this life. So when you say money, it's, uh, there, are, there are, you know, there's cash, of course. But then there's the idea of, uh, of legacy. And um, this is a currency. Yes. Um, totally agree. Well, my... And, and they are interrelated. So celebrity or media has provided the means to have access, mm -hmm. among many other benefits, of course. But the idea that people want to take a picture with you or hear what you have mm -hmm. to say or have the, the luxury and privilege of sitting opposite you uh, here today. Mm -hmm. so and the, then so what I realized is you can you can utilize this, this privilege to advance solutions that are good for the, the planet and for people and for business. And you can find a win-win solution that is both, both fiscally prudent and socially responsible and impactful mm -hmm. and uh, helps maybe clean the air or clean the water or advance uh, like some like efficiencies, the, right? I like the, so yeah, I like mixing deep science mm -hmm and Hollywood storytelling, mm. and maybe some design, and mm. clever finance. Mm. This excites me. Mm. So to answer your question specifically, it's really a culmination of all of these things. Because it's, it's like a stool with only two legs, not mm. three, you know? You really need all prongs. The mind of an artist to be, to think out of the box and creatively. Um, a businessman to think practically and a storyteller to make sure these ideas can flourish. I like this. I like what you said very much. And it, it seems that uh, this kind of concepts comes out of a kind uh, person, not an evil one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was wondering when you showed the clip, I thought, are you only showing Titanic? You know, Billy Zane uh, is the most <laughs> <laughs> known evil guy. I know, I'm sorry. On and, and it gets an applause. It's How a, bad do you feel about that? It's ironic. It's, it feels like a, a, a practical joke from, <laughs> from God. You know, I want, you know, I want, like, literally, it's uh. like, it's funny. I find it a great um, challenge. I welcome it with humor. The irony that it, the characters I'm known for are, are often really tough mean. and mean yeah. and, and flawed. For the, fundamentally, they're, 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 Im, they're imperfect, they're broken. Hmm. They're products of some trauma or bad programming. And it's, it's, as, a, as an actor, it's interesting to to get inside of that and try to uh, mine understanding, not sympathy, understanding. And, uh, but in my heart, I, you know, it, the movies that inspired me were, were comedies and musicals. And I was trained to do, you know, Broadway. And I, it just, mm. I, I managed to bring this kind of sent this humor or joie de vivre to a dark character. Mm -hmm. And this combination made him very scary. Mm -hmm. And it worked once mm -hmm. or twice and mm -hmm. people seemed to like it. It, it was a very um, unlikely but s successful recipe. Very, very successful. And uh, Hollywood is not, it, is, it tends to mm. make you want to do something you were successful in yes. over and over a little bit. Yeah. So I like to diversify no, normally, but yes. you know. No one can deny that Billy Zane uh, played so many distinguished roles, uh, cinema, uh, TV, but still the iconic movie Titanic is all over the world. It's, it's one of the most famous movies uh, throughout the history of mm. cinema. So it's like a, a, a a blessing and curse at the same time, probably. To be known for that character, perhaps, <laughs> yes. Universally loathed, but people love to hate him, so. When they said they're celebrating 20 years anniversary, I was shocked two years ago. Me too. <laughs> it went like this, no? Uh, it flew by very quickly.
you felt the same. Yeah, surely. It seemed to go very fast. Um, because I, you know, it feels like yesterday, which is interesting. Mm. But I'm glad that the film resonates with people and still makes them feel, uh, connects with empathy, you know? It, this is an important um, kind of service of sorts. I remember when it came out, and here we are talking about it 20 <laughs> years later, like it just came out. There were many movies since, you know, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I think the fact that it, it, it touched so many people on a deep level and connected them with so feeling. When you watch it first time, did you cry? Yeah, everybody. Uh, I mean, I, uh, grown men who would come to me after seeing the film said, they want, I want to thank you. It was the first time I was able to cry in front of my children. That was, this, that was the most interesting response. Was interesting. It was permission for uh, yeah. the hard guy uh, to kind of, you know, uh, let his defenses down yeah. and be show this emotion in front of the, mm. his family. I thought that was important. Tell me about the two photos. Hey. <laughs> um, well, that's, you know, one late night. The top one was certainly one late night in uh, Mexico, where mm -hmm. we filmed the movie, which is strange, but true. <laughs> um, in the Rosarito, one winter. And the bottom one was one late night in Saint-Tropez, where um, a painting of mine uh -huh. behind us was um, auctioned off for the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation, which raises millions of dollars for environmental oh. causes and purposes. He does wonderful work. Um, the LDF yeah. Foundation, if you want to learn about great causes and mm. um, the state of affairs in terms mm. of mm. Uh, indigenous peoples, deforestation, uh, clean mm. water, it's mm. a it's a wonderful resource and oh. a great organization, oh. and they have an, they had they used to hold an auction uh, by very mm. famous artists uh, every year in Saint Tropez. Yes, uh, twenty years between the first photo and the uh, second photo. Yeah, uh, uh, for the trio, mm. the most famous uh, love story. It, it, I want to ask you something. Really, I'm not asking the actor. I'm asking the viewer. Did you change your mind about the judging the trio in Titanic, Rose, Jack, Cal? Meaning that at first we really hated Cal and still a little bit, but now we can see the story a little bit different after we get older and older. This is an interesting lens and I think it has to do with maybe a little maturity and um, familiarity, which are kind of the same thing. I found that, again, his flaw, Cal's, I guess, was bad programming. You know, he was a bastard, sure, but he was trained, conditioned this way, to be honest, and was surprised, I think, by, by the events. But I think he loved her. That was the idea we played. Um, and, but the arrogance and the hubris was, you know, uh, in, indicative of the age. And that was the fun part mm. about performing mm. that character. Um, I saw the 3D version. Did anyone see the version in 3D when it was re-released? Uh, no. You should. Why? It's, it's a, one of the rare occasions that this device, this concept of uh, dimension mm -hmm. and focus is attributed to a, a drama. It's only an action movie at the last hmm. half hour, maybe. Uh, yes. But for two and a half hours, it's a soap opera. Uh -huh. And, <laughs> and yeah. you never see 3D in drama. Yes. It's rare. Usually it's things flying at you and it's gimmicky or horror mm. action movies. And they don't lend themselves well to 3D because things move too fast. Yes. However, when you... 3D in a drama or in anything, they pick a point of focus. And it's usually the eyes and everything else to create separation, they defocus mm -hmm. as you stage back. Yes. Now, when you have frames like this that 
have thousands of people in them, or uh. they're a lot, they're very busy. Uh. It's it's um, what you end up doing is falling into the eyes of the actors mm -hmm. while they're talking, and they say they're the windows to the soul. So when you look into Rose or her mother or Cal, you're not just seeing the tuxedo, you're going into the inner work, if the actor's doing their job, yes. which everyone was. Uh -huh. And what I found when I saw the 3D version at a premiere in London with a live orchestra playing in, at the mm -hmm. uh, Royal Albert Hall, it was exquisite, the re-release. Mm. I found myself objectively sympathizing with <laughs> Cal and her mother, like I went into, I, I, regardless of the strange, you know, of the, the plot, arrogance, the, uh, all of the that, outsider bad things. You saw her, her terror and desperation at the mm. thought of being poor and was wondering, why are you doing this to me at this age? And you, and you saw, and I, and I felt, um, and even then, but this went for a lot of other, all the other actors. I, I went into the inner life of, of characters you normally gloss over mm -hmm. and this was a very powerful revelation around the power of 3d and drama and i really believe we should do more and age and age بعد الفاصل هنرجع لبيلي زين البيزنس مان او رجل الاعمال والحقيقه عنده مفهوم مختلف عن الفن والبيزنس After the break, by the fuss. What is this, a ship full of women? All my pilots are women. Interesting. Excuse me. واحدة منهم تنفع تبقى روز وثلاثة من الممثلين الشباب اللي واحد منهم ينفع يبقى جاك. It's a very, very cruel game we're playing. But Sorry. for Carl, no one but Billy Zane. Uh, that's a, okay. Thank you. No, that would be. I think. I think you no. should play Carl. I don't have the hair. <laughs> I don't have the hair. <laughs> like how old I was when I was uh, when I first watched Titanic. Mm. Four. <laughs> <laughs> which I, which <laughs> في الولايات يعيش في الولايات المتحده الامريكيه ورائد اعمال ومؤسس بوابه للتجاره الالكترونيه بشكل عام مظبوط اهلا بيك احمد بيري زين قال انه هو معاك بتفكروا في شكل مختلف للبيزنس بالظبط هو انا ابتديت هنا في مشروع في مصر كان بوابه الكترونيه لبيع الادويه وطبعا تمويل كان صعب جدا من آه سواء من مصر او خارج مصر آه بعد ما آه رحنا آه امريكا ولقينا ان الفرص آه مش بس تقتصر على آه يعني اي حد عنده فكره ممكن تتمول مش بس من البلد اللي هو فيها فعملنا صندوق يساعد كل الشباب من اي حته في العالم سواء في لوس انجلوس في مصر في اي حته ان هم ياخدوا تمويل من اي حته في العالم ومن الفكره دي آه عملنا الجلوبال فينشر سميت او المؤتمر اللي بيساعد السيليكون فالي انها تروح في كل بلاد العالم تستثمر في كل الشركات اللي هي شركات التكنولوجيا مينلي آه بس ومن هنا يعني في مثل ساعدنا تسع شركات السنه اللي فاتت تقفل حوالي 25 مليون دولار في الـ في الـ ايام بتاعه المؤتمر فاحنا عشان الخبره او التجربه اللي حصلت ليا في مصر ان ما كانش في تمويل للمشاريع دي ولما رحت هناك لقيت الموضوع مختلف حاولنا ان احنا نطبق ده بس على كل العالم فبس هي دي الفكره علاقتكم انت وبيلي زين ابتدت هاو ديد ستارت وذ احمد اي هاد اراوند ذا سيم تايم وي ميت اي هاد ستارتد ا كومباني اي هاد فاوندد ان بارتنرشيب وذ at the time it, it it is pretty much every year in the top three universities uh, in the world mostly it's in the top one slot it's with caltech university mm -hmm. in pasadena california you're funding or giving the expertise both oh. and um at the same moment we uh we had met 
And uh, Ahmed was the only person who was pitching my model to me around <laughs> the power of Hollywood storytelling and business. And I thought, have you read my notes? How are you? You know, we were we were speaking shorthand, <coughs> like you know, separated brothers. And mm. uh, what I loved about what he what he was mm. doing and had done prior to this point had built track record. So. Um, you found you, you complimenting. Yes, uh, it was very complimentary, uh, and we uh, went to uh, Mexico City together and tested mm. the, the model, and it was mm. very successful. Mm. And, and I've uh, seen parts of the forum you uh, you yes. established. It was a forum, or بالضبط هو في مؤتمرات كل يوم في دنيا كلها المختلف إن إن ده بيوصل الناس اللي عايزة فعلا تستثمر دلوقتي في الفرص اللي موجودة في السوق المعين. دلوقتي لو عملنا مؤتمر في مصر السنه الجايه هنجيب المستثمرين من سيليكون فالي اللي عايزين او من هوليوود اللي عايزين فعلا او من العالم كله اللي عايزين يحطوا فلوس في مصر للشركات بتاعت مصر او في الميدل ايست فعشان كده البلاد بتقول لنا ممكن يبقى المؤتمر ده عندنا عايزين استثمار من الخارج مش بس فلوس بس العلم بتاع ازاي تدير الاستثمار انتوا مهتمين بس بالمشروعات اللي لها علاقه بالتكنولوجي بالظبط فوكست على التركيز على التكنولوجيا مم. ومش لينا احنا بس احنا بن بنعزم اكتر من 30 مليار صناديق بقيمه 30 مليار من سيليكون فالي ومن العالم تيجي تستثمر معانا هتعملوا مؤتمر في مصر قريب انا بنحاول هنا اليومين دول طبعا لسه مش آه. يعني آه. بس دي لسه مش فك... آه. احنا لسه مخلصين واحد في لوكسمبورغ من آه. خمس ايام آه. و... آه. وكان في اتينا لغايه النهارده الصبح هنعمل واحد السنه آه. الجايه وعايزين نعمل واحد في مصر أحمد لما التايتانيك اتعرض كان عندك كم سنة؟ كان عندي لا كنت صغير يعني 12 سنة 13 سنة like how old I was when I was when I first watched Titanic four مش عارف أيوة يعني أنت كبرت you grew up hating car مش انا قول الحقيقه هيز جونا بي ا جود بزنس مان لا ما تخيلش قول قول الحقيقه اه طبعا متحيز لل يعني مش للشر طبعا بس الفيلم على بعضه طبعا يعني يو لايكت جاك يو هيتد كال نوت هيتد بس يعني تويز ذا بوزيتيف او الحاجات الايجابيه ف يعني انا قلت له وين وي فيرست مان اي منشند ذات لسه فاكر لما رحت سينما التحرير وقعدت وكان صعب قوي ان الواحد يحجز تذكره يشوف الفيلم حتى لتاني او تالت مره قعد تالي ستة او ثمان شهور في السينما بيلي زين فنان يعني رسام وممثل وبيزنس مان انت بتشوف ايه اللي بيبقى طاغي على شخصيته اكتر؟ طريقه الكوميونيكيشن او توصيل الرساله ازاي حتى في الشغل I was asking him what's the <coughs> the part that overshadowing the other sides of your character the artist the painter and the businessman which is the more vivid side it's uh, by the by default <laughs> او اللي هو بيعمله على طول او احسن حاجه طريقه ان هو يوصل الرساله باحسن طريقه يعني هو من من الكلام اللي بيحب يقوله ان كل شركه uh, تعتبر فيلم كل فيلم ليه ميزانيه وكل شركه ليها ميزانيه وفي افلام بتخسر وشركات بتخسر فهو على حسب ما بيشبه <تصفيق> صناعه الافلام وال وازاي الموضوع بيمشي في هوليوود بيتنقل بالظبط لسيليكون فالي بيتنقل في اي حته في الدنيا فطريقه تعبيره حتى للمستثمرين والشركات دي مفيده جدا ومش عند ناس كتير قوي في ناس شاطره في الارقام قوي بس مش شاطره في انها توصل الرساله بالظبط حتى هو بيقول كل شركه لو طبعا <تصفيق> تقدر محتاجه برودكشن او ميديا <تصفيق> كومباني محتاجه انها مش شركه دعايه مش شركه اعلان طريقه توصيل الرساله بتفرق كتير جدا I'm very pleased that I've met you both, especially one of the most famous actors, Billy Zane. I'm very pleased that Cairo International Film Festival is really celebrating his presence here. I'm very pleased that I was reminded of one of the most beautiful, one my favorite movie ever, Titanic, and talked about. Again, after 22 years, with the same passion and uh, interest, <laughs> I, I, I'm really pleased. Uh, but are you ready to play a very little game? Very little game. But of course. لو تخيلنا إنه فيلم تايتانيك بعد 22 سنة هنعمله تاني بس هيبقى فيلم مصري. 
تايتانيك بالمصري هنكون عايزين بيلي زين يختار ثلاثة من الوجوه اللي حاسس انه شكلهم واحدة منهم تنفع تبقى روز وثلاثة من الممثلين الشباب اللي واحد منهم ينفع يبقى جاك ومش هسأله عن 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 كالب Uh, if we imagine that after 22 years we're going to reproduce Titanic in Egyptian way and you would choose which of them could be Rose and by features. By features, not yes. by no. Not by uh, this is for Jack. This is for Jack. For Rose? No, this I is think <laughs> this is a very... This would be, they have to be very good actors. <laughs> for Jack. Ah. Who could be Jack uh, of those? Ahmed Fahmi, Ahmed Hatim, or Hassan Raddid? I, I wish I knew their work a bit more. Oh, but, features. Um, give me their first names again. Uh, Ahmed Fahmi, Ahmed Hatim, Hassan Raddid. Understanding the, just based on the photo, not the person, mm -hmm. and what it conveys. Uh -huh. And based upon the, the journey Jack has to undergo. Yes. His age. And uh, the, the promise. I think this young gentleman on the left here would, would in, be... In the left, the, the very yes. left? Yes. Hassan al-Raddad, howa, Jack. Hassan al I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, sure they're all my our friends. No, I'm no, sure, no. I'm sure they're no, wonderful. No, no. Respect, respect to yeah, yeah. all the Ahmeds. Okay. Uh, and for Rose, mean ba atim fatib a Rose, min rogat nazar, Billy Zain. Hal. Very cool. ياسمين رئيس هنا الزاهد ولا يسرى اللوزي ياسمين هنا يسرى اللوزي again based on the limited exposure upon the photograph um, and what is being conveyed which is not really fair because this looks like a paparazzi moment uh, this is a <laughs> selfie for, and this is like True. maybe a piece from a movie True. so you're connecting directly I have to say based upon these facts with mm -hmm. Hassan Yasmin I think would be Yasmin Rais <laughs> just saying <laughs> it's a very very cruel game we're playing uh, I think I think you no. should play Cal. No, I don't have the hair. <laughs> I don't have the في اجواء مهرجان القاهره السينمائي الدولي كتير من النجوم من الداخل من الخارج واحد من ضيوف المهرجان واللي بيكرم على مجمل اعماله الفنان العالمي بيلي زين وصديقه وشريكه ايضا احمد شبانه. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.